Welcome to your legs and booty strength workout. So what our workout looks like today is you have two monster sets. You have four exercises per set. We're going to go through them three rounds. So solid strength training work. We're going to lift heavy today. The equipment you're going to need is heavy dumbbells. You have a good amount of rest in between your working time today, so I really want you to push that weight and then you will be able to shake it out, recover, before we move on to the next. So I'm gonna be using anywhere from my, my probably my 20, 25s, and I've got my big 50 pounder here. You grab what you want. Now, you can always modify and make this work for you. So if you have some injuries, you're just coming back from being sick maybe, you could do this all body weight, okay? So make it work for you. You have an option to grab a bench, not, Required, you can do everything without it, but if you have one, grab it. If you don't have a bench, you could use like a yoga block, um, you could use a, a shorter stool, something to elevate your foot, but you don't have to. So if you don't have one, that's all right. We're gonna get warm, we're gonna work on some mobility, and then we'll get right into our first monster set, legs and glutes on fire today. All right, take one knee at a time and hug it into your chest. Just getting that blood flowing, loosening up those hip flexors a little bit. Bring them in and pull. Good. All right, let's speed it up. Just drive those knees right here. Drive it, drive it, squeeze that core. Your core is going to be your powerhouse today. It's going to protect that back. It's going to keep everything nice and tight and balanced. Four, three, two, and one, give me some butt kickers, bringing that heel to your booty. We gotta warm up the backside too. So this is a legs and glutes workout. So we definitely need to warm up and wake up that booty. Four, three, two, and one. Take those feet under your hips. Give me a squat and lift. I want all the weight in your heels. Chest is up, neutral spine. Give me two more. All right, let's go to a step back lunge. Put the weight in that front heel and switch. Little pause at the bottom. Good, keeping those feet in line with those hips. We don't want to be too narrow or too far apart. Good, two more. Take those feet wide, toes are forward. Alternate, tapping those toes. Transferring that weight. We're warming up the inner, the outer thighs and glutes here. Give me a double, right for two, left for two. I want that big range of motion, trying to get that knee at 90 degrees. Last one. All right, come on up. Bring those feet a little wider than the hips. Toes slightly turned out. We're gonna come to the bottom and hold. Press those knees out, weaken those heels. Drop that booty as far as you can. Warming up those hips. Feel free to wiggle around. Stand up. Do it again. Drop. Wiggle around and stand up. This time, we're gonna hold at the bottom. We're gonna plant our right arm, left arm to the ceiling, give me a big circle. And switch, plant that other hand, and big circles. Good, ooh, that feels good, stand up tall. All right, let's finish with some good mornings, hand behind the head, flat back. Hinge and squeeze that booty. Hinge, squeeze. Good. Using that booty to lift. Four, three, and one more. Woo! Tap it out. You need to give it a stretch. Any more mobility work, now's the time. Let me talk about your first 
core exercises. We've got only two sets, but they're monster sets. So I'm gonna use my bench. We're gonna put our right foot on first. Make sure your heel is all the way on that bench. I don't want it hanging off or that stool. We have an elevated lunge. So we're gonna hold one or two dumbbells, just holding the legs in a stationary position, dropping as far down as you can without a bench. Same thing, same thing. This is just gonna give you more range of motion. We're gonna go right, we're gonna go left. Move three is a sumo squat, so I'm gonna grab my big guy. You could also hold two dumbbells. I like the feeling of one better, I have more control. Feet are wide, toes pointed out. Dropping, we're gonna come up three quarters, so we're not all the way up. Stop at three quarters. Your last move, you're on the floor in a donkey kick. So 40 seconds of work, you got 20 seconds of rest in between. So we're gonna go heavy, grab those dumbbells. Let's see, we'll go, we'll try those 20s. Right foot on, heel all the way on. Big shoulder roll. Three, two, and one. We're dropping and lifting all the way is in that front heel. I want as big a range of motion as you can. So try to bring that back knee all the way to the floor or hover. I like to lean forward slightly. So instead of my chest being completely all the way up tall, I'm leaning over slightly. That's gonna give more work into the glutes, okay? That forward lean, more work into the glutes for five, four, three, two, and one. Now you've got 20 seconds to shake it out. It doesn't matter if you're going right or left, you still need that break to get to grab those heavy weights. Okay, let's pick it back up. We're going into the other side. Put that heel all the way on, here we go. Now and up, leaning forward slightly. Back knee as low as you can go. I like to think about that front knee at least getting to 90 degrees, if not more. That way, the thought behind it is you're able to stretch this front glute, which means you're getting into that muscle. You're getting stronger. We're getting all the work we can. Keep it slow and tight. Five, four, three, two. All oh, my glutes are saying good morning. All right, I'm gonna move this to the side. We have our heavy sumo squat. One or two dumbbells. Take those feet out. Wide, toes wider than the hips. One or two, we're coming up three quarters of the way. Let's go. Three quarters and down, it's slow. Up, stop three quarters and down. Your chest is up, your booty is down. It's not a deadlift, it's a squat. So drop that booty. Woo! Oh yeah, here we are, here we are. Come on legs. Keep that back flat, come on, you got 10 seconds. Ooh. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell donkey kick. Come on to the floor. I actually said I was gonna use my 20s and up today, but I am gonna go to my 15 for the donkey kick. We're gonna go right leg only. Put that dumbbell or none behind your right knee on all fours. Here we go. Heel up and down. We're gonna feel a little lopsided until we get to that left leg, that's all right. All the way up, all the way down. Leading with that heel. Again, you can do this without a dumbbell. Squeeze. Try to keep those hips to the floor. I was opening up. I gotta correct it. One more. Ah! Shake it out, we're gonna go back to the top. Man, this first set is all about that booty, and my booty is on fire. 
All right, bring it back that step. Your break is a titch, a titch a bit. Teens a bit longer when we finish all four moves just to get ourselves together again. We're going back to the top. Right leg forward, elevated lunge. If you're on the floor, that's fine. Get that back knee all the way down. We have about five seconds, so let's grab those dumbbells. Set it up, right foot on. Here we go, team. Three, two, and one. Down and up, nice and slow. So that first round, it was waking our legs up. Now we're awake, we're digging in, taking it one rep at a time. That forward lean, getting that back knee all the way down. It's all about that range of motion, all about the stretch of that glute. 13, A. You've got eight, five, three, and you're out. Woo! Quick shake, you can set those dumbbells down. Onto the other leg. Leg day always feels like cardio day. Always. All right, switch those feet. Here we go. Breathe. In on the way down, out on the way up. You always wanna breathe out on the hardest part of the movement. Awesome. Come on, don't cut yourself short. Get all the way down, all the way up. Give me that big range of motion. If you're not able to get that full range, think about maybe lightening that weight, okay? I want you to practice that good form. Four, three, two, one. Oof! All right, I'm gonna set this bench to the side. We're going to that heavy, Sumo squat. Heavy sumo squat, we're never coming up, right? We're going three quarters. We're going three, two, and one. Drop, three quarters. Booty down, chest up. Dig through those heels. You're gonna feel those inner thighs. You're gonna feel that booty. Down slow. Up three quarters, you're halfway. Oh my goodness! Stay in it, stay in it. Come on, Taylor. Yes, I can. Seven, five, three, two. Oh, ah, that was good. All right, if it's burning, that's where you're supposed to be. Set it to the side. We're on for the donkey kick. Left leg, left leg on all fours. Put it behind that knee. Core tight, here we go. Up, all the way down. Breathing out on the hardest part. Right there at the top. Watch those hips. I always end up rotating. Okay, so I have to remind myself, keep those hips square to the floor. You have 10, five, go, 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 three, two, woo, take it out. All right, you get a little bit of a longer break, nothing crazy, just enough to wipe your sweat. I have to get a drink, and then we're back. Ah, oh, okay. We have one more round. One more. And then you don't have to see these four moves again. So let's finish this first monster set, yeah? Get your drink. Here we go. Right leg on. Three, two, here we go. Drop and lift. If you're not using a bench or a stool today, I definitely want to see that back knee right next to that floor. Slight hinge forward, finish it off. Finish it off the right way. 
Dig through that front heel. Stretch out that glute at the bottom. Woo! Here we go, 10 seconds. Don't stop, don't stop. 40 seconds of work in five, four, three, two, one. Ah, right leg. Right leg is done. Right leg is done. All right. Whew. Okay, let's finish off this left side. Pick it up. Set it up. Three, two, leg day, baby. Keep those legs in a train track. Okay, in line with your hips. That's also going to give you the best stability. Woo! That's halfway. We're good. We're in a good place. Fight through it. Okay, this is where it's uncomfortable. Fight through it. You've got 10 seconds. You're not going to stop. Not today. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you guys hear that clicking noise? I don't know if you can hear it. My ankle doesn't hurt. It likes to click. Every morning I walk down the stairs, it's like click, click, click. Okay. All these single squats. Okay. I, want, I really want to go lighter, but I'm not going to because we're tough. Here we go. Three quarters. Come on. Come on. We can do hard things. Third and final round. Drop the booty. Three quarters. Ooh, my hands are sweaty. Hold on for dear life. Drop. Three quarters. Back is flat. Core is tight. Chest is up. Booty's down. Fight, fight, fight. Ten. Six. Five. Three. Two. One. Woo! All right. Finish with the donkey kick. Now you've got to be on your A game. Because we only have half right, half left. So that switch is coming fast. 20 seconds each leg in three, two, go. Up, drop. Woo! Finish off monster set one. Hold at the top. Leave with that heel you're switching in three, two, one. Quick switch. This is not fast. I thought it was going to look better than that. Go. All right, I gotta fix this guy. There we go. It's only 20 seconds of leg in three, two, and one. Woo! Monster set one. Done. All right, get that drink, recover, shake those legs out, but don't sit down. Keep the blood flowing, okay, we're warm. So walk it out, tap it out. Let me preview. Monster set two, monster set two. We're gonna come back to the bench. If you have it, if you have a stool, okay? If not, it's the same movement without. We have a side to side goblet squat, one dumbbell, drop it, switch. Okay, so if you're on the floor, same thing. All right, so with or without that bench, we're gonna go to deadlifts. Single leg, all the way in that standing foot. Dumbbells right next to that shin. All right, all left. We're gonna finish on the floor with a bridge because you have to do bridges if you're working the booty. Best exercise. All right, let's get one heavy dumbbell for this side to side goblet squat. All right, I'm gonna go with that 25. We'll see. Set it up. Three, two, dumbbell up to that chest, side to swipe, side, let's go. Down, up, and drop. Dropping the booty. 
as low as you can. So you're gonna be a little bit off balance, right? If you're elevated on a bench or a stool, that's what we want because that elevated leg is going to get a little bit more of that work. It's also functional training, okay? We're often on uneven surfaces. Same movement if you're on the ground. Come on, get all the way down, drop that booty. 90 degrees, four, three, two, and one. All right, you need two dumbbells. We're gonna go into our deadlift, single leg deadlift. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Right, and then left. Your back foot is just there for a little support. Shoulders down and back, here we go. Dropping, pushing nice and slow. Down, down, up, up. Down for two, up for two, it's slow. Down for two, push through that standing leg. Down for two, come on, push, push, push through that right foot. As soon as you get to the top, you're coming right back down. How low you go is gonna be different for everyone. If you're flexible, you might be a little lower, that's great. Three, two, and one. Woo, I'm gonna set those dumbbells down. Shake out my grip a little bit. Tap it out. We're going to the left side. Same exact thing. Okay, let's pick it up. Three, two, here we go. Shoulders down and back. Down, down, up, up. What are we working? We're working the glutes and the hamstrings. So that's what I want you to think about. Think about engaging, squeezing, keeping the tension on the booty and hammies the whole time. Your shoulders are down and back. Your back is there as a secondary muscle, so you are gonna feel it. Five, three, two, and one. We're coming down. We're coming down all the way. I'm gonna grab my big guy. Oh, if you have a really heavy dumbbell, put him on the side, lean over, roll it. Weight in your heels, here we go. We're coming up and we're holding, and drop. Up and hold, and drop. Up and hold. As soon as your booty touches the floor, you're coming back up. That dumbbell should be right on your hips. Not on your thighs, okay? Because that's not what we're working. We're working the booty. It's got to be right over that booty. Up and hold. And drop. Option, you can use just body weight. Okay, that's a great choice. Up. Squeeze. And down. Last one. Woo! All right, to get it off, lay back on that side. Set it down. Woo! All right. That was all four moves. That was all four minutes. Let's go back to the top. Move that guy over. We have all the things today. That's what makes it a fun day. Bring that stool or bench out. We're gonna go in about 10 more seconds. A little extra rest time in between those four. We need it. Don't be afraid of rest time. For a long time, I was afraid of that rest time. Because in my brain, if I wasn't working the entire time I was working out, right, that it wasn't doing any good. Here we go. But that rest time is so important for when you start working again, especially when you're lifting heavy, to give your muscles, number one, the time to recover so they can perform as best they can. But also enough time to make sure that form is good, we prevent injuries. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Side to side, come on, get low. Drop it like it's hot. Down and push. Five. Last one. Killed it. All right. Sing 
single leg deadlift. You got a bench, let's move it. We don't trip on it. Right foot. Shoulders down and back. Let's do it. Down and squeeze. Keep your gaze, your eyes on the floor. I don't want you cranking your neck like this. Okay, we want to keep that spine in alignment. Ah, there we go. If you're not feeling the backside at this point, you definitely, my friend, got to pick up something heavier. Eight. Four. Three. Two. And shake it out. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Just working out in a sauna down here. Always. Okay. We got another leg. How are you doing out there? So good. It's leg day, baby. Three. Two. Go. Nice and slow. Keep the dumbbell right next to that standing working leg. Push that booty back. Back is flat, nice and slow. Down, down, up, up. Woo! Come on, team. Come on. You're not done. You have 10 seconds all the way. You're not going to stop early. Finish these 40 seconds. One more, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, get set up. Get set up on the floor. Oh, there we go. Set those one or two dumbbells up on those hips. Heels in. We're holding for two at the top. Here we go. Up, hold, and down. Up. Hold, hold, and down. Up, hold, hold, and down. I like to take my toes all the way off the floor. It just makes makes me number 100% that I'm engaged in the booty. 100% engagement. Up and hold, and down. Woo! Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Carefully put it down. All right, you guys. This is it. Your second monster set. This is your last round of your last set. We're all in. Grab that bench if you have it. Woo Grab that drink. One last hurrah. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. We're gonna finish this last round like we started. We're gonna pretend like our legs are fresh. Form is tight. Grab that one heavy. All right. Tis the time. In three, two, and one. Dumbbell all the way up on that chest, all the way down. Take your time enough. Take enough time to get that booty down. When we try to speed things up is usually when that range of motion gets a little smaller, you know. Nice big squat. That's halfway. This is your last time here. Finish it. You gotta get that mental toughness on the last round. You wanna be done. Your legs are done. But we power through so next time we're stronger. Five. Three. And that's it for your squats. Woo! All right, let's go to those deadlifts. How has your weight been feeling? Do you need to keep it? Do you need to go lighter to keep your form? Can you go heavier the last round? Here we go. Three, two, right leg. Neutral spine, core is tight. I want you to squeeze your abs as if someone is punching you right now. Slow, slow, slow. Down. 
and up. You're more than halfway. Your back leg is just there to help you not fall over. 10. Finish. Four, three, two, shake it out. Woo! Okay, that's two down, two to go. Two down, two to go. Left leg, left leg in four, three. Here we go. Down, down, up. Up, breathe in and out, in, out. Keep the dumbbells next to your shin. Don't let them float out away from the body. You're more than halfway, woo! Come on, you're an athlete. Right here, you're an athlete. Shoulders down and back, eight. Four, three, two, yes, yeah. All right, I'm recovering for a back injury. My back has had it, so I'm not gonna use my big, my big dumbbell for this last one. But you are, unless you're injured, put one or two dumbbells on those hips. Last exercise in three, two, and one. We're coming up, holding, and dropping. Up and hold, hold, and drop. Up, hold, hold, good. We have a surprise, the last 10 seconds. We're just gonna hold at the top. So you have about 10 more seconds of the singles, and then we're gonna hold the last 10 seconds. Ready? Here we go, hold, hold, hold. Hold at the top, hold, hold, hold. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Ah, bring those knees into your chest. Stretch out that booty. All right, don't go, don't go. You're not going anywhere. So, this is our summer challenge, right? At the end of every workout, you have a finisher, so you're not leaving. But it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. All right, we only have two minutes of work. Two minutes of work, so stand up right now. We're going into that split squat, that stationary lunge. You have single split squats for 30 seconds. You're gonna pulse for 30. You're gonna do it on the other leg, and then, then you can go. If you wanna be extra, you can hold some dumbbells. I'm gonna be extra. I may drop them for the hold part. We'll see, we'll see. You have one minute per leg and you are done. It's gonna get hard, we're gonna power through. Set up those feet, we're going in four, three singles down and up, right now. Down and up. Drop that back knee all the way down. Go to your happy place. It's you versus you right now. You versus you, you can go body weight, you can hold the dumbbells, you can go one dumbbell, you can drop them as you need it. Okay, this is your burnout. So we're trying to get to that failure right here before we finish. Four, three, two, we're holding. Yeah, I'm gonna drop those dumbbells. We're holding, if you wanna add a little pulse, you can, you can, or you can just hold. Okay, they're both pretty equally hard in different ways. 15 seconds. We're going right into the other leg, you get no break, okay? Here we go, we're gonna switch in six, five, come on, stay low, three, two, quick switch, ow, 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 ah! Come on, go, down and up. Why did I do this finisher? This is hard! Down and up. You have about 45 seconds left of this workout. You versus you, you versus you. Eight, six, three, and holding, holding or pulsing. Come on, yes you 
can. You are tough. Think about all the tough things that you do. This is one of them. Everybody else hanging out on the couch. Okay, you're moving your body, you're taking care of it. You got 10. Yes, you can. Six, four, three, two, ah! Woo! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We have had some tough finishers in this summer challenge. I think the toughest have both been on the leg days. Whew, tap it out. If you haven't done the other leg day, go do it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Take those feet wide, hands on the knees, roll that shoulder over. You did it. You did the thing. Good job, I'm proud of you. And roll it up. Woo! Hold on to the wall if you need it. Take one foot back. Stretch that quad. Make sure you're drinking your water. Take care of your body. Stretching. Get your protein. All the things. You just put it through a lot of work. Nourish it. Water. If you're sweat a lot, some electrolytes. And some protein. Some good healthy carbs with that. That is it, you guys, for legs and booty. I'm proud of you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.